Hi, I'm Daryl, and this is the Smith's Gourmet Home Kitchen Photo Album featuring some of my favorite home cooking recipes. Today I'm back at the smoker. I'm making a brined and smoked chicken, a smoked white asparagus and arugula salad, and a sweet potato puree. I start with a three to three and a half pound whole roaster chicken. I remove the backbone with a sharp knife by cutting down both sides of the bone. Then I split the breast and spread apart. This is called butterflying the chicken. For my brine, I'm using three quarters cup each of light brown sugar and kosher sea salt and one tablespoon of cayenne pepper. To a gallon of cold water, I add the kosher salt, the light brown sugar, and the cayenne pepper, and I whisk well to dissolve. Then I add the chicken to the brine and cover with aluminum foil and refrigerate for two to four hours. For my spice rub blend, I'm using a tablespoon each of kosher salt, ancho chili powder, and ground cumin, and a teaspoon each of cayenne pepper and cracked black pepper. Add each to a small mixing bowl and stir well to incorporate. After the chicken is brined for two to four hours, pat dry well with a paper towel. Then season all sides of the chicken liberally with the spice rub blend. Today I'm gonna to be smoking with water soaked apple wood chips. I set up charcoal in the firebox and under the grates of my wood smoker. Then I add the apple wood chips to the firebox. I add some white asparagus to the smoker and I place the chicken directly over the coals. This will allow some cooking as well as smoking of the chicken. And I remove the smoked white asparagus after 30 to 40 minutes. I'm making a fresh salad with peppery arugula, some shaved red onion, cherry tomatoes, and feta cheese. I start by cutting the cherry tomatoes into quarters. Then I thinly shave and dice the red onion. Next, I assemble the salad with some of the peppery arugula. Then I add the tomato, the diced red onion, and the feta cheese. Seasoning with salt and cracked black pepper. I take my smoked white asparagus, which is cool to room temperature, dice it into bite-sized pieces, and add it to the salad. This salad has a wonderful fresh and smoky flavor. To dress the salad, I'm making a lemon Dijon vinaigrette, starting with the zest and juice of one whole lemon. Then I'll add about a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, salt and pepper to taste, and then I'll drizzle in about a half cup of extra virgin olive oil. As another side dish, I'm making roasted sweet potatoes. I start by poking around the surface of the potato. This will allow moisture to vent during the roasting process. Then I drizzle with olive oil, season with salt and pepper, and wrap in aluminum foil. I bake at 375 for an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes. After smoking the chicken, I next want to pan roast it. I add a little bit of olive oil to a medium heat cast iron skillet. Then I add the chicken to the pan, skin side down, to brown the skin for a few minutes. Then I'll turn the chicken over to the flesh side for a few minutes and add a couple of pats of butter. Then I'll start to baste the chicken with the melted butter. After a couple of minutes, add the chicken to a 375 degree oven for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, remove the chicken from the oven and check the internal temperature with a meat thermometer. I'm looking for 165 to 170 degrees 
Then I glaze with my dismiss tequila mango glaze. Generously brush the glaze over all of the skin of the chicken, getting into all of the cracks and crevices. Then I cover the chicken with aluminum foil and allow to rest for 10 to 15 minutes. And after an hour and 45 minutes of roasting, I remove the sweet potatoes and scoop out the flesh with a spoon. Then I flavor the sweet potatoes with cinnamon, some cold butter, a little bit of heavy cream, and then I like to add in a touch of maple syrup for that added sweetness. You can adjust the seasonings to your taste. I like the dark meat. So I carved the chicken by separating the leg and thigh portions. I start the plating with some of the sweet potato puree. Then I add some of the smoked white asparagus and arugula salad, drizzling with some of the lemon Dijon vinaigrette. Then I add the chicken leg and thigh quarter and brush on a little bit more of the tequila mango glaze. This takes a little bit of work to make this dish, but the payoff is big with the flavors. I hope you give this a try and enjoy.